Utah's 400 million teen treatment industry has faced renewed scrutiny in recent months, first with Paris Hilton's testimony on Utah's Capitol Hill. And this week, the KSL investigators reported 26 former residents are suing a facility claiming abuse. Yeah, now this evening, Daniela Rivera shares expert advice for parents out there who may be seeking residential care for their child and ensure where to turn for help. So I was terrified to really tell my parents anything that was going on. Intentional misinformation being spread to our parents. And I, like, didn't know how to tell my parents that because I felt trapped. But it's still happening. At their most vulnerable, they say they experienced abuse and more trauma inside residential care facilities their parents had hoped could help them. I think we need to enhance our transparency. Utah Senator Mike McHale says the state should make it easier for parents to learn about teen treatment facilities. Reform legislation passed in 2021 included guaranteed private weekly calls home for teens and more frequent inspections for facilities. Now, McKell says those inspection results should be made easily available in an online public database. But that hasn't happened yet. You shouldn't have to call a state senator. You shouldn't have to call a reporter to find out if a facility has, has a violation history. I mean, the onus is always on consumers to utilize those services and do the research behind the products that we're we're securing for ourselves. Mariah Hurst works with the Youth Providers Association, representing businesses in Utah's teen treatment industry. While residential treatment is considered a last resort, she says it's a critical resource for young people in crisis. I think there are people who are criminals who have found a weakness, and it is our job to identify where those weaknesses are continually. She has five tips for families who might find themselves considering a treatment facility. First, ask about what patient outcomes they're tracking and ask to see their data. Find out if they're accredited with an accrediting body. See if they're part of professional networks in the teen treatment industry. Know that more rigorous oversight is given to providers who contract with the state and ask around. Check with other facilities to learn about a particular treatment center's reputation. While calls for increased transparency continue, Hearst believes changes made through recent reform are already improving the system. The industry is safer, the industry is better, and there are more resources available to families. Hearst also said there's a free resource available to parents and caregivers seeking help who might be questioning whether residential treatment is the right next step. That's the Utah Department of Human Services Stabilization and Mobile Response Hotline. According to the state, you can call the number on your screen to discuss a youth problem at any time. And we'll also post this information online at ksltv.com. You know, these are important decisions yeah. and folks are trying to get all the information they can. Yeah, it's important to dig around there and try and get as much information as you can. So those are great tips there. You never walk away, though, thinking that you have everything, I'm, I'm sure, in most cases. Right. There's a lot to know. Yeah.